Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. 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 All right. Made it to the green zone. Highway to the green zone. Hello, Autobots, Decepticons, and other life forms out there. We are Starscream. Looking pretty sleek in the new jet form. Oh. And we're going to do what Starscream does best. Retreat! No. We're going to destroy satellite dishes. Oh, okay. Because okay. we hate direct TV and stuff and dish on demand. Total cable. I'm a total cable, cable. guy. Cable. Forget cable. Dial up. <laughs> Dial up internet. That's how I roll a star screen. Oh, yeah. That's how I roll. Then you gotta yell at your mom for picking up the phone. Mom! Mom! I'm trying to download episodes of RC and Slipstream Battle and Energon Oil. It's not a big deal. It just really, really gets me hot. <laughs> Super hot. Super hot, like jet, jet fuel hot. And I'm burning up outside, as you can see. <laughs> Yeah, those were the days. Dial up internet. Oh, the you hear that? I think you hear brushes the most way more better than mine there. Oh, well. I couldn't remember. I just remember. Uh, no one would remember that actually, but I remember. Well, that's naturally my impression was better because I went to you know I have my master's, my doctorate in, in impressions. In, yeah, your doctorate in internet impressions. Doctor of impressions. Let me hear your DSL impression. It's silent. <laughs> There's a little hiss, though. DSL. That's pretty much it. That's, you nailed it. Nowadays, we're so lucky, though. We got satellite. We got dish. Instant gratification. What else do we got? Internet radio? What is that? That's not. That's the same thing. Yeah. Why are we talking Why am I saying radio? I don't know. Radio's cool. I like satellite radio. Radio's like... They used to say, TV killed the radio star. Yeah. Is that right? That's sort of like that song. Yeah. But radio's still there. It's still here. It's still happening. Everybody uses their CB radio and they go hunt them down and they're doomsday prepping. Doomsday prepping. You gotta be prepping for people like this. Giant pizza slices of doom coming in there. <laughs> wrecking your technology here. I'm trying to make it look like doomsday here. Yeah, he does a good job of that. He also does a really good job of cowering in the background and living. Which isn't too bad. I mean, you want to live. You want to make it through it. I mean, who cares about Earth, right? Overall. Somebody's scrambling your... Yeah, they're jamming my radar. That's why I'm breaking these. Ah. Oh, it all oh. comes together now. Now Eric learn. Here Good I job, am. Eric Tron. Here I am. Here you are. You were just frozen, man. It's you were okay. frozen for a long time underneath the Hoover Dam. I forgive you. It's okay. It's okay. It's all Hoover right. Dam. Yep. You can buy the shirts there and stuff. Then you can say you've been at the dam store and you got this damn t-shirt there. Take the dam tour. Yep. You can do all that fun stuff over there. So that's nice, always. That's real nice. Yeah. Definitely nice, nice, nice. Check out these big plans. You just blow them up in one hit. And then I'm like, I own that. No big <laughs> deal. And hiya, ninja. I used to be a ninja back in the day. You think you ever started, like, accidentally hitting on another plane thinking it was a transformer? Hey, baby. What's going on? I like that note uh, you got there. The silent treatment, huh? Ooh, yeah. I'm it's into good. that. I I'm gonna break you yet. I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna break you, sweet thing. We're, we're gonna get along later. You like that? Want to rub your nose cone? You like that? Mm -hmm. I know you do. And then all of a sudden, like Megatron comes in and tells him, like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I no, that I was waxing it. I was waxing you, it. I knew it wasn't real. You realize that's a model plane, right? Yeah. And he, yeah. Yeah. He gets all embarrassed, but it's no big deal. Of course, of course, I do. He's always embarrassed. He's probably used to it by now. Yeah, he's kind of a loner. Not really. He's like a Decepticon, but he's kind of like all about himself. Whereas most of the Decepticons are kind of like, okay, we'll file Megatron and we'll own the world, I guess, yada, yada, yada. Just in case he does succeed, I don't want to get killed by him because he is the biggest guy of them all. And he, uh, maybe he'll give me a nice condo, beachfront property, you oh, know. beachfront. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what I'm thinking that's a lot of them were thinking. And then you know Megatron owns it, so it's like you have to pay your mortgage, but you can be late with it. Because so you, it's okay. you fought for him, and maybe that'll help. Yeah. He, he's kind of a bill collector, though. You know, he'll come for it, but hopefully, just because you were on his side, he'll just forgive you a little bit. Plus, you're destroying everything for him. So you got so that he can, to hold he over can, his head. Yeah, and then, you know, the, half the work's done. He can, it's all cleared out for the new condos and everything that he's probably going to build. Yeah, we're definitely going to use cable there because we just destroyed all the satellite dishes. Chapter complete! Finally, the most interesting chapter ever is over. Thank you. Do we have a cutscene? Do we have another cutscene here? Nope. No, just start screaming again, hanging out, walking around. We're gonna give him our uh, 
Close Zoom up. in. Yeah, you uh, like that? You like looks like he's like doing the eat, eat, eat motion. Oh, yeah, there's some karate, though, for you. Yeah, yeah he's like got the Wolverine claws out. We're practicing. Oh, this building out of my way. <laughs> oh, shoot. Better pick up this Energon cube of cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Thanks for watching. If you want more of us, click the video or the link in the description below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos from Bro Bros. Thanks for stopping by.